Welcome to Mikon's Hardware. This is going to be a little bit unusual video, but right now I'm going to tell you some extra details about this ultra compact gaming computer where I have used quite a few Chinese parts from AliExpress. So what do we have here from AliExpress? It's the motherboard, it's the power supply, it's the chassis and it's the Wi-Fi adapter. Let's start with the power supply. The power supply is a Skywind International TF600 and as you can see I have replaced the fan because this fan was still a bit too noisy and I was not really happy with how it performs at idle. This fan I have replaced uh, with this uh, Noctua fan, and this is Noctua and Alf A4X20, so basically exactly the same size. But the Noctua is a PWM fan, while uh, this little one has only two wires, and this is basically a voltage regulated fan. The problem is that this Noctua fan would not rotate if it gets less than 12 volts, and this power supply gives 12 volts to the fan only if it's getting really, really hot, so it's not the optimal solution. My solution for this problem is to bypass the connection of the fan to the motherboard, and here I'm going to show you. So here is the power supply itself, and here is the Noctua fan connector going out from the power supply. Then I connect it here to a fan extender, and then it goes to the other side. And here, on the other side, I connected it straight to the motherboard. So in this configuration I can adjust the fan speed inside the power supply, I can also adjust the smart fan curve, so if the CPU heats up the power supply obviously heats up as well and then I can speed up the fan. And it is also very silent during idle, so I'm very happy with this solution and I'm also happy that I did not have to modify the power supply or fan itself, so I did not have to cut off this connection and at any time if I would want to I can take this power supply out and put the original fan, but I hope I will never have to do that. Another interesting subject is the Wi-Fi adapter. As you can see I did not use the original box with the original uh, Wi-Fi antennas because it is very annoying and very hard to get these two connected to the uh, Wi-Fi adapter to be able to put these uh, connectors to the rear side to these holes I have to put it at an almost straight angle and then it always just gets disconnected from the Wi-Fi adapter and I just got sick of it. And also I do not have uh, right now compatible antennas for these connectors, so I just used what I had. And uh, this is like flexible wire antenna, it goes from here, from here, from here to the other side. And then on the other side I just uh, connected it here to the power supply, so it works like that. These cables look here not very nice, but I don't really bother. There is perfect place to place these cables and there is no chance it's gonna get into the graphics card. While speaking about the graphics card, this is Palit RTX 3060, very nice little graphics card and it fits here perfectly, but there is a catch. The power connector for the graphics card is located right over here and it is blocked by this USB 3.0 uh, front panel. So the front panel looks like this, we have only one USB 3.0 and a power button, which would be much better placed over here so it would not interfere with the power connector. But in this configuration you can see that the USB 3.0, this internal header, is blocking the power connector for the graphics card, so I had to uh, bend the power cord and put it this way. It would be much nicer if the power connector for the graphics card would be on the back side, or if this USB 3.0 connector would be here or maybe some other place, but just not here. Other than that, I can also complain about this PC Express writer, even though it is flexible enough and it is also working as PC Express 4.0, it happens to be just a tiny bit shorter than it's supposed to be and I cannot secure these two screws, which is supposed to hold it in place. Luckily, it's not a big deal because it is pretty stable here and nothing is moving, the graphics card is secured here with the I.O. bracket, so it's not a big of a deal, and I could attempt to stretch this PC Express riser and still secure it with the screws over here, but I figured that I would not bother since it is pretty secure this way either way. Here, one more thing that I can mention is the battery. So the battery I have connected here, and then the wire goes through here, and then here I just duct taped it over here so it doesn't fly inside the chassis. Other than that, it's a pretty standard configuration. 
we have Chinese Tinyue H610i motherboard with Core i5-12400F CPU, 16 gigs of DDR4-3200 Corsair memory, and one terabyte of NVMe storage. The graphics card, as I have already said, is Palit RDX 3060, and together it's a very nice uh, Flex ATX or ultra compact gaming computer. And you can also use it as a workstation for video editing or something like that. And with this, I have to say thanks for watching, thanks for listening. I hope it was interesting. Bye for now.